you guys I hope everybody is doing well um, it is springtime however you would never know that in Connecticut it is absolutely freezing cold so I'm wearing a little sundress to hopefully summon the sun and summon some brighter and nicer weather um, today's look is the look that you see featured here um, it's nice and light and airy and very springtime and I absolutely just love like a hot pink corally lip for summertime so I'm just hoping that this this look will just summon brighter weather. It's just absolutely freezing outside. It's ridiculous. But um, regardless of the weather, I hope everyone's doing really well and I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I'll talk to you guys soon and keep watching. All right guys, let's get started. I'm gonna start with a damp beauty blender and um, I'm actually gonna take my Naked Skin Urban Decay concealer today and I'm going to prep my eye area for my um, eyeshadow today. You don't need a lot of this product. It's really nice and it's a great base to make sure that your eyeshadow will stay all day. I'm going to take a little bit of MAC Fix Plus and my Beauty Blender, put it on the back of my Beauty Blender, and then I'm going to evenly distribute this onto my lid. After I do that, I like to set my lids um, with a translucent powder. Um, this one is from YSL. I absolutely love it. One of my good friends told me about it, and I haven't stopped using it since I bought it. It is pricey, however, a little bit goes a long way. And I still love the Laura Mercier one. Um, it's just, again, something that, as a makeup artist, you're always looking for the next best thing. And I absolutely love this translucent powder. It has a pink undertone, and it's super brightening, which is awesome. I am going to be taking my Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. I absolutely love this palette. It has a great range of colors and is perfect for a nice spring look. As you can see, all of them are right here. Um, I believe Morphe still has it available. I am not sure, however. So I'm just going to start with a little bit deeper of a color than I normally would, and I'm going to bring in this nice pink color right here. I'm going to gra grab a bunch on my brush and then get rid of the excess. I'm really going to focus this color only on the outside, the outer V of my eye right here. Same thing on the other eye. I really just want to bring in some warm purples and pinks to really warm up the eye area for a nice spring look. Then I'm going to go in with a little bit deeper of a shade, this purple right here. And again, just work that into this outer corner. I'm actually going to be taking this color right here and I'm going to be working that onto the lid area and just blending out any harsh lines. I'm really focusing all of this on the outer area of the eyelid to make sure that everything stays nice and bright in the middle. I'm going to be putting this really, really light pink all over the eyes. So just on the lid, and I'm gonna press this all in here. And that will keep everything nice and light and perfect for spring. And I'm gonna be taking my MAC 242 brush and I'm going to wet that a little bit with the MAC Fix Plus again. And then I'm going to be taking this really light pearl color right here. And I'm just going to place that on the inner corner of my eye to make a really nice pop. I'm also going to bring that a little bit on the brow bone to highlight the brow bone. And I am going to be taking the liner from e.l.f. 
Um, it's not super waterproof or anything like that. It's just something nice and easy to use. Um, it has a really fine tip applicator, which I like. Um, I am going to be taking my Mineral Touch Foundation by Unique, and I'm just going to make sure to shake that up really, really well. Um, I have to tell you that I meant to come back and review this brush. I absolutely cannot live without it now. It's the one thing that I use on a daily basis every single day. It doesn't even matter if I'm not even using this foundation. I will use it with other foundations as well. I think it's awesome. Um, the coverage is really great, and like you use no amount of product. I put it right onto the back of the brush and then I just stipple it onto the face. And I feel like it makes my product last so much longer and um, it goes on so really, really nice. Um, I've actually even gotten away from using a primer because I feel like this brush works so well and um, the foundation just is so flawless that I don't need to use a primer to prep my skin or anything like that. If I were doing a um, a look for bridal or something like that I would use a primer no matter what just because I feel like it really helps to make sure that um, your makeup is going to stay put and last all day long um, the amount of fallout from the brush has actually become much less and less over time so that's also a really nice thing to know because when I first tried it out I was not really happy with the amount of fallout that was coming from the the actual brush itself and now it just seems to have gotten so much better so once I'm finished with that I am going to be going back in with my naked skin concealer um, I just I love this concealer I've been using it lately a lot just because it's so nice and lightweight and I am just going to conceal my under eye area Um, the center of my face, down the bridge of my nose, above my cupid's bow, on the sides of my nose, and a little bit on the chin. I am again going to take my beauty blender and just wet it with a little bit of Fix Plus. And I am going to press this product into the skin. I'm going to go back in with my YSL powder. I'm just going to press this under the under eye area to set that. I've really gotten away from putting an overload of product on this area just because I feel like I don't really need that amount of coverage. I don't really like the way that it looks. Um, for, again, like I said, bridal or something like that, we're going to an event, I'll absolutely put some excess product on there to make sure that everything stays perfect. But for daily use, I just don't think it's necessary, and I like my skin to look like skin, so it's just a personal preference of mine. And I'm going to go in with the Mineral Touch Pressed Powder Foundation by Unique. Um, the color is Taffeta, or Taffeta, however you want to say it, and I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush, and I'm going to apply that to the rest of my face. Um, I like to set all areas of my face because I think it makes it look really nice and flawless, and it's one thing that I have noticed that will make my makeup stay all day long. You don't have to put a lot on, especially if you have drier skin, you might not want to even do this part. But if you're even normal to somewhat oily, to somewhat oily in your T-zone, or you're working a long day where you end up sweating, this is a surefire bet for sure. Um, I'm going to go in with a little bit of bronzer. I don't want to bronze too much. I've actually been getting away from doing too much of a contour or anything like that. I kind of just want more of a flawless skin look versus something that's super sculpted or anything like that. Um, this is one of my very tried and true favorites. It's by Bare Minerals and it's just a compact. It's super, super dark. So I'm just gonna take a really light amount of it and just 
contour a little bit on my cheekbones. This is just to bring some color back to the face and some definition. However, like I said, I haven't been contouring harshly or anything like that for a long time. I'll probably get back into it more in the summertime, but right now since my skin is so fair um, and I've been really just trying to take really good care of it and not do too much sunless tanning or anything like that on my face that I've just, I guess, grown apart from it and I just like the flawless skin finish instead. With the Milani blush, I love this blush. It is Dulce Pink and it has a nice amount of shimmer in it. This is a Real Technique Techniques brush that I actually picked up from, I think, Kohl's. Um, it is awesome. It's so soft and it deposits the right amount of color without being too heavy or anything like that. Where some brushes, like you have to find the perfect blush brush because some brushes are seriously way too dense and you end up with like these big clown cheeks. It's weird. Now I'm going to go on move on to brows. Um, I have run out of my unique products and I am like desperately waiting for them to come in. I love using their brow product products. I think they're amazing. They have a perfect consistency so they're just really really awesome. Um, and we are doing a brow challenge for unique so I just wanted to show you the difference between um, the before and after of my brows. So this is the before. You kind of see them really well. And I'm going to go on with an Ardell product that I do really, really like. Um, and then just a brush that has a nice pointed end and then a spoolie end. And I'm going to fill in my brows. I've been doing a lot more on top lately because I feel like it opens up my brow a lot more versus like focusing underneath of filling on the, up the brow. I don't know why I all of a sudden changed doing the way I do it before but I just feel like I have um such like fine hairs on the top I really feel like it opens up my eye a lot more like you can already see the difference and I haven't even filled in the middle part and then I'm just gonna flick up like I normally would here and I've been keeping them nice and like I don't want to say bushy but kind of more natural and um partially due to the fact that I missed my brow appointment which is not good at all but um I'm seeing her tomorrow, I'm so excited. But yeah, I've been kind of like creating more shape on the top and I just like the way that that's been looking better for me. So then I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is actually a matte highlighter crayon and I actually have been loving it for my waterline. So I've been just using this on my waterline. It's really bright and light and pink and super creamy. So I've been using it like this. And then I'm going to take a little bit of color and work that underneath as well. So I'm gonna go back to my palette and my small little angled brush. And I am going to pick up this actually really, really like corally orange. I just want to make the under eye really nice and bright. And I just like the way that that looks. I think it's really pretty. Um, I want something super bright and fun today, so I was thinking something like this. This is ColourPop. I love this brand. I think it's like 5 or $6. I think it's 6 For the liquid lipsticks, um, this one is an ultra satin lip, so it's not as drying as the uh, matte lips. However, I do notice that they don't stay on as long, so I mean, that's going to be the drawback. But I just absolutely love them. I think they're so fun, and like the colors are so, so, so bright. Like, look how pretty this is. 
It's beautiful. And um, you can't beat the price. So I'm going to go ahead with this lip. And I think what I'm going to do is top it with a coral color that I that I have as well. So it'll be a fun balance. This is the other shade that I'm going to use. It's by L'Oreal and the color is Captivated by Cerise. And I think this one is like super, super corally. So I want to put that on top to create a really fun look. Alright guys, so that's the finished look. Um, I added a little bit of the beachfront bronzer as well. I just cannot live without this. I think it just adds so much beauty and dimension back into the skin, especially when you're lighter and fairer skinned, and even the summertime where you just want to have a nice glow. Um, I did add this on top. My camera unfortunately overheated because I've been recording for too long, which happens sometimes. So I just finished that off, and um, I absolutely love this look. I hope you guys agree. Um, I just think it's... I just want to zoom in a little bit. Okay. Um, I just think it's honestly like perfect for springtime. I think it's beautiful. I think it's fresh. Um, if you wanted to, you could add some false lashes onto this look and create more of a drama and that kind of thing. But otherwise, I think you're good to go. Um, the two shades that I use for the lip, um, I don't know if I mentioned, but it's called The Rabbit by ColourPop. And then the other one by L'Oreal. Um, these two together, I just think like, look how beautiful. I just think it's so beautiful. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the spring look, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.